Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing the makeup declutter second part. I'm not going to be talking too much, so we're just going to go ahead and get right into it because last time or part one was about a 30 minute video and I don't want this video to be that long either. So I'm just going to quickly try to go through these um, makeup palettes and see what I want to keep, what I want to give away or donate or we'll see. So I'm just going to go ahead and start. So this is the Sephora Pro palette. This is the warm palette. This palette I actually really really love. It looks like this and I use it quite a bit as you guys can tell it's pretty used so this is one of my favorite palettes it's super pigmented I love how it has a variety of colors and this is what I was talking about the warms that I um, that I had in my first um, declutter video you guys saw that I got rid of a lot of palettes with neutral tones so I'm keeping this one because this is one that I love all the neutrals in this palette so I'm gonna definitely keep this palette for me and then this is the Sephora Pro editorial palette so this is the one with a bunch of like different colors this is another palette that I really really love and this is another palette that I use for Halloween specifically because it has like a variety of colors and it's just like a really good palette so I'm definitely keeping this one as well um, so this is the Urban Decay um, Naked Palette. This is the original palette. I've had this palette for such a long time. You can tell it's kind of beat up already. It's a pretty old palette, so I think I'm going to get rid of it just because it is pretty old. Um, but, I mean, I kind of want to try it out and see if it's still good, like if the quality is still good and it's still there. Uh, because some palettes, even though they, they're there for a long time, they still work. So I'm going to try this out and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, I'm definitely going to get rid of it. But all the shades, I love this palette. This palette is such a good palette. So I'm going to put this on the maybe side because I just need to try it out and see if it's good. This is the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette. This palette is also another one of my favorites. Um, I use it a lot actually and this is another holiday palette for me because it has a lot of like holiday colors especially for Christmas. So I'm definitely keeping this palette right here. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill Palette by Morphe. And this palette is also a really, really good palette. And it's crazy how affordable it is because I honestly thought when I first used it that it wasn't going to be that good, but it's actually really, really good. I really like this palette. I love the neutrals. I love the pops of color. So I'm definitely keeping this one right here. And then let's go ahead and jump to our Nubia's um, Place palette. I love Juvia's Place. These palettes, I actually, I think I'm going to keep them all because Juvia's Place palette palettes are so so good they're all very pigmented and this one again is another uh, palette that I use specifically for Halloween because it has like really unique colors but actually I'll, I'll make some eye looks here and there with this palette so I'm keeping this one this is another one a favorite of mine that I use a lot it's the magic mini by Juvia's and these are the shades I've actually gifted this palette several times because I feel like it's so good. It has like a variety of colors, a lot of pretty shimmers in here and it's so great. It's like super pigmented. It's a great quality so I'm keeping this one and then this one is actually, I believe this is like the first palette I ever got from um, Juvia's Place and it's the Nubian 2 and it looks like this. This blue right here, the Cleopatra, is my absolute favorite shimmery blue when i'm looking for like a nice shimmery blue i always turn to this palette because it's such a good like blue um shade and it's so shimmery it's so pigmented so i'm keeping this one you guys a lot of the palettes that are left i think i'm gonna keep because most of these are really good palettes all right guys so this is the thirst thirsty palette by jeffree star cosmetics i actually had to lower the um, lighting a little bit because you couldn't really tell um, the shades on this palette but you can kind of see them now this palette is really really nice I love all the shimmery shades they're super pretty they're awesome for like a good glam look now these shades down here are super super um, like very light you have to build them up definitely but it's a really good palette I love all these up here I don't know this palette I really like so I'm definitely gonna keep this one 
Um, this is another Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette. This is the Blood Sugar palette. This palette, honestly, you guys, I feel like this palette is really, really good. But the only thing I don't like about these palettes or Jeffree Star's palettes is I feel like they are so bulky, so they take so much space. That's the only bad thing about them. But they are really, really nice shadows. So let me go ahead and open it up. And it looks like this. As you guys can tell, it looks like it's fairly new, but I've played around with this so many times. Um, I just love this palette, so I'm definitely going to keep this one just because I like it. Whenever I'm looking for like the like nice dark purpley shades and reds, I go to this palette immediately. So I'm definitely keeping this one even though it's bulky. Now this one right here, this is the blood or the blue blood palette. Like again, I'm telling you, his palettes are super bulky, so they take a lot of space in my makeup collection, which sucks. But look at these beautiful shadows, you guys. This is another one of my favorite. If you guys know me, I love the color blue. Blue is like my favorite color. So when I saw this palette come out, I just immediately was so in love with it. And when I tried the shadows and, and you know, played around with them, I loved it even more because the shadows are so, so good. So I'm keeping this one as well. I feel like I'm not getting rid of any palettes, but I promise you I'll probably will. This one right here is a Tardis Pro Glow Palette. This is a really, really good palette. I love everything about this palette. I've used this so many times. It's like so beat up already. Um... This is like a contour shade, and I love this contour shade. It's so good. It's so creamy. But right now, it has, I need to clean this palette so good and sanitize it because it has a lot of like fallout from the from the um, highlighters here. This is another good like bronzer or like sculpting um, to get that nice like contour look. I like this shade so, so much. Um, so I'm keeping this one because it's a really good like um, contour and highlighter palette. And it's, I need to clean that one. That was really dirty. Okay, this is the Morphe collaboration with James Charles. This palette is so cute. I love it so much. I even have like the little film attached to it because I like to see the the um, names of these shades. But I don't think I'm going to get rid of this palette just because it's fairly new. I think I've only used it like twice. So I definitely have to play around with it and, you know feel how I like it and everything so far I I really really like it so I think I'm gonna throw this one away or give it out because I do like it and I just need to play around with it more because it's kind of new um okay I have little palettes down here so this actually is pretty random but this is the boozy brunch highlighter by wet n wild now this is kind of it's broken so but this, you guys, this is a really, really good highlighter. If you're looking for, like, a very affordable highlighter, this is so good by Wet n Wild. Like, look at that. It's, like, a really nice, um, like, champagne color. I don't know if you guys can, can see it, but it is such a good, stunning highlighter. I love this highlighter. I don't even know what it's doing here because I'm definitely not going to get rid of it because I use it all the time. Now I have these little Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Palettes. Oh, here's another one. These are actually really, really good, but I've had these forever. So I'm actually going to um, give these away or get rid of them. I'm definitely going to go repurchase this one. This one's the Dulce de Leche. This one's my favorite, and I always, always use it, but I just feel like it's already so old. So I need to get rid of these. And then this is the... Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This is also a really good highlighter um, palette. So I'm definitely going to get rid of this because I don't use it. I really rarely, um, you know, I have like so many other palettes with good highlighters in them. So I think I'm going to get rid of this one. But I'm definitely going to go back and repurchase this um, contour little palette because I really like it. So I'm going to get rid of these right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills a Lip Palette. And there's this is a volume one. I think there's a volume two there. I like this palette so much. This is a lip palette. And I've used it so many times. You can like mix and match. I still have the little um, palette here where you can like mix and match your colors and create your own lip shade. And I love this 
because it's so versatile. Anybody can wear it. Anybody can use it. You can use these as um, like an eyeshadow base or even for Halloween. I've used these before. So I'm definitely keeping this um, lip palette as well. These are also other Juvia's Place. Actually, this is probably the only Juvia's Place that I place palette that I rarely use. This is a Sahara and, um, by Juvia's. So it looks like this. It's a really cute palette and everything, but I rarely reach for it. Um, I don't use it as often as the other one, so I think I might um, get rid of this one. And like I said, I've I've only used this a couple of times. I rarely reach for it. So I think I might get rid of this one, so I'm going to put it over there. This is the Warrior 2 palette. This is such a pretty palette. And you guys, I've only used this one. I don't know if you guys can tell. It has a little bit of like, you know, like little evidence that I've played around with it. And then this one also, I actually use this for winged eyeliner. As you guys can tell, it's like, like marked there. But this is a new palette. I haven't even like used any of the other shades. So I'm keeping this one. I'm going to play around with it because I love the shades and I know... This palette is going to be so good because all of Juvia's palettes are so, so good. This is the Masquerade Mini. Um, this is also another palette that I kind of don't really reach for. Um, this is a good palette for this row up here. Um, these are also really good shades. Like this one right here, I use this one the most out of this whole entire palette and then this one too. But um, these up here are really unique shades that I don't really have in other palettes. So I don't know if I'll keep this one. Um, I might give it away, but I think I'm going to think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and put it over there and see um, if I'm going to keep it or not. All right, guys. So this is the Conspiracy um, palette by Jeffree Star. This is actually still brand new. I haven't even like, it's still in the packaging. I haven't even like touched it or anything. Um, I just love the, the packaging of this, but I just hate it that it's so bulky, but I love like everything about the palette and I love black and white as well. So it's so, <laughs> that sounded kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know, made like a little sound, but this is how the palette looks like. It is so pretty. Now the shades in this palette, I feel like it, they're kind of like all over the place. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the shades, but it. I mean, I don't know. It's a pretty palette, and I love the little stamps and everything, but I feel like the shades in this palette are so out of control. Like, I mean, right here, this is probably the only normal row, and then after that, it kind of gets weird. But, um, yeah, I definitely have to try this palette out. I haven't even touched it. I haven't even swatched it. I haven't done anything. It, like I said, it was still in its box, so I'm definitely going to try this out pretty soon let me know if you guys want to see a video on this um palette in my comments section leave a comment down below letting me know because i know it's a little old already like it came out months and months ago but i really like it um this one right here this is the confidence um, palette by profusion cosmetics and I think this palette was actually gifted to me. Or I don't know if I purchased it. I can't remember. But this palette is so, so good. And it is super, super affordable. Um, this palette is really good. I've created some really, really bomb looks with this. So I think I'm going to keep this. This right here, Chameleon, is like, ooh, a bomb shade. It is so, so good. This is like a really good summer palette. So I am going to keep it because I really really like that palette all right guys so going on to the naked palettes this is the naked um three palette by urban decay it looks like this this palette is also um really pretty and it's also really nice quality i like it but i don't really reach for it as well um so i'm definitely going to give this away as well because i don't really um reach for it so again if you guys are interested in any of my palettes and you don't mind that they're used or anything like that leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys are interested of maybe me posting these on poshmark um because you guys i take care of my palettes so good and yeah so this right here is the alien palette now this palette is so cool i love like the whole alien vibe thing going on um but again, I feel like this palette is so, so bulky. 
but it's so good like I don't know um this is actually a palette I need to think about because the shades in here um they're good but again like I don't feel like I'll ever really reach for it that much unless I use specifically this palette for like the purple or like that green because I, I don't think I have this green like anywhere else in in any other palette or this alien green right there so I don't know I'm gonna have to think about this palette really really good because I kind of like the shades but it's all over the place and it's too bulky so I'm gonna have to think about this one as well and see if I want to throw it away or keep it so this is the Tartlet Toasted palette this is another one of my favorite palettes I love this palette love all the shades I use this so so many times it is like it is totally completely damaged as you guys can see and this is actually a really good palette when I travel so I'm definitely going to keep this toasted palette now this is the Tartlet palette um, this palette I think I might get rid of because I don't reach for it. I feel like I have a lot of shades that look like this. Um, it's just like a neutral. It has a lot of purples and neutral shades. But I think, I don't, I think I'm going to get rid of it because I really don't reach for it. I don't use it anymore. So I'm going to definitely get rid of that one. This right here is the Make Believe in Yourself palette. I don't know what this is doing here. This is such a good palette, you guys. I like this palette. It's pretty much... They're all shimmers except for this one. So every single time I look for like a nice shimmer that I want to use, I kind of go for this palette because I, I know there's going to be like a really good shimmer out here. You have like the copper, the brown, the gold, the silver, you know, and other different colors. So this is a good palette I'm going to keep. And then this is, well, I have like really random palettes here, you guys. This is the Blush Bazaar palette I don't know what this is doing here like I said I have random palettes in here that are not um, eyeshadows but this is a blush palette and I do use this palette all the time so I'm keeping this one right here um, now I have these little Maybelline palettes these are this is like a master contour palette I don't use this I never reach for it so I'm give, giving this out or throwing it away this is the master bronze palette and highlighter this one also, I'm going to get rid of it because I don't reach for it. And I feel like the only shade here that I use is this one that I ever really use. Because this one has like shimmers. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this one has shimmers. This one is just like a light bronzer, but it has so much shimmer that it, I don't know. It doesn't really work. It kind of works like a, a topper. And then this is a really good highlighter. This highlighter is actually really good, but I'm going to get rid of this as well. This is another one I'm going to get rid of. This is the Master Blush Palette and Highlighter. It's a really good um, palette. I actually like this or this highlighter and then this blush. But these two are not really good. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really use those two, but these two are really good. But I'm definitely going to get rid of this one. This is the Naked 2 Palette. This is another good um, neutral palette. But I rarely reach for this palette also. So... I think I'm going to get rid of this one, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to put it over here. This one right here is the Naked Heat Palette. This is one of my favorite Naked palettes I have. It is such a good color. I don't know if there's like a thing going on with me, but if you guys have noticed, I'm more attracted to like the red tones and like the, like the mauve-ish red tone palettes or eyeshadows because... These are like the shades that I love. These are the shades that I mostly use. So I'm definitely keeping this one. I used it a couple of times and I definitely do reach for that palette. This one right here is the Morphe 12P. I believe it's the Picasso palette. And it is this colorful one. I'm keeping this one. This one I mainly use for Halloween looks. So I'm keeping this little tiny palette. Plus it's like a really nice mini palette. It doesn't take too much space. Um, this is the Tarte's Pro Palette. This is another palette that I really love from Tarte. It is so good. All their shades are really, really pretty and pigmented. I've used several of these shades and I love them all. And I've created some really bomb looks. I love all of these up here. Um, these are all shimmery shades. So I'm definitely keeping this palette as well. Um, 
Oh, this one right here, you guys. This is a Laura Geller um, Dripping in Gold Illuminator Palette. Oh my god, this palette is so good. I believe this palette only comes out during the holidays. So if you guys are interested for like a really bomb highlighter, I highly recommend this little palette. It is so good. Like, you have like the perfect gold. This one is a golden or a molten copper. This is French Fizz and then Glided Honey. Glided Honey is so so good so i'm keeping this one for sure uh, moving on this is the morphe 3502 palette this palette oh i think it's like the reddish one yes this is another one of my favorite palettes that i love and i'm always reaching for so i'm keeping this one i'm keeping this one for sure i think i love like all of my morphe palettes um they're really good and they're really inexpensive Okay, so this one right here is the Morphe 35O palette. This is another one that I really, really like. And this is another good neutral palette. This is why I'm getting rid of, like, most of my Urban Decay ones because they're very neutral. And that is why I'm getting rid of, like, a lot of palettes that are neutrals because I have this big one right here and the other one. And I have, like, other palettes that, you know, I don't need to have so many of. So I'm keeping that one. This is another Morphe palette. It's a 35V palette and this is like the purpley tone and blue tone and then you got some like neutrals also this is such a good palette you guys i'm also gonna keep so i'm telling you i'm probably gonna keep like most of these palettes this is the morphe 35m palette and this one is the one that has like the greens and like the purples and some reds so this is such a good palette I've created some really good looks with this palette and I love the consistency as well so I'm keeping this one also um, now I have more Anastasia palettes this is a Riviera um, palette by Anastasia and this palette is so pretty I love everything about this first of all I told you I am a sucker for blue so the packaging just I love it so much and then the shades is so good I don't think I have a pink like that except for like that little Halloween palette that I just showed you guys a little Morphe one this Bahamas eyeshadow is so so good and then this a seashell ones too oh it's really good it's such a good palette I'm keeping this one this is the Prism Palette by Anastasia. This is another palette that I absolutely love. Oh, by the way, it, I just kind of remembered. So I told you guys in my previous declutter video that I, I was going to think about keeping the subculture. But I made up my mind. I think I'm going to get rid of it because I don't think I'll probably reach for it anymore. Since I have like so many other good palettes, there's no reason why I should keep it. If it's not going to give me like the 100% um, you know, thing that I'm looking for. So, anyways, just throwing that out there, I'm also going to, you know, get rid of the Subculture palette. But this is the Prism palette by Anastasia. It's such a good palette. I love every single shade in here I've used, so I'm keeping this one. Like I said, Anastasia palettes are so, so good, except for that Subculture one. That one is just, it broke all of us' hearts. Um, this is a Lorac Pro Contour palette. This palette I, I love, and I've had it for so many years for such a long time but it still works it has been used and abused but i'm definitely going to keep it because i always reach for it still to this day so keeping this one this is such a good contour palette all right this is the tartes pro remix palette now this palette i was a little bit upset because i felt like there is absolutely like no matte shades in this palette except for this one right here which is called wall art and then this one which is called mixed media um every every single other shade it's kind of like a shimmery shade um it's a really pretty palette like i love the shades and everything i haven't really tried it out to feel and see what i think so i think i'm gonna keep this palette just because it's fairly new i've only used several of these shades like not all of them so i'm gonna keep this one and see try it out a little more and see what I think about it before I can even get rid of it. Okay guys, we're making progress. This is the Glow Kit by Anastasia. This is such a good highlighter palette. I always reach for it because it has like so many good highlighters. Um, this is one of my favorite highlighter palettes that I use during the summer because it has like all the summer shades. Like 
This one is called Sunray, Amber Gold, Hot Sand, Golden Dawn, White Sand, and then Snow. So this is definitely a keeper. I love this um, glow palette. So I'm keeping this one. Now this palette was actually gifted to me. This is the P. Louise palette. Um, I've actually haven't really tried it out to tell you guys my honest opinions of, of it. I've only used like several shades. Like you guys can see it's like basically new. I've only used this shade, this shade, that shade too, and then that is it. I've only used three shades out of this whole entire palette. And I've had this palette for over a year, so I'm going to keep it because I want to play around with it more. Like this pink and that purple is so pretty they look so pretty so hopefully it's pigmented hopefully it's nice but um yeah i'm definitely gonna keep it because it's new i haven't really played around with it so i need to get my hands on it as soon as possible now these are two tarlet palettes they're not the same they're a little different so this one right here is the clay palette palette it looks like this this is another really good neutral this one right here i actually take with me when i travel to like a very close place like if i'm gonna go um you know away for a couple of days and i'm just like hours away i usually take this one because this is when i want like a very simple makeup look this is what i use so i'm keeping this one this is the clay play volume 2 this one also looks the same but it has a little bit of a different shade to it the other one's a little bit more um, it has a little bit more darker shades than this one. So I'm keeping both of these because I feel like these palettes are super, super good. And they're pigmented and they're great. This right here is the Kylie Jenner Sipping Pretty Palette. This palette right here I don't know about. I think I'm going to get rid of it because I wasn't too um, obsessed with it. I wasn't too in love with it. And I don't know. I kind of was expecting a little more out of this palette. Um, I don't really reach for it as well, so I think I might um, pass on this. I'm going to keep it over there. Now, this is the Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is also a very new palette. Like, I haven't really touched it either. I think I've only touched that shade right there. Yeah, that's like literally the only shade that I've touched. Cone. So, I'm going to keep this one just because I need to try it out and play around with the Jawbreaker. This one right here is the Tarte High Tights and Good Vibes palette. This is such a good palette for aesthetics. It's so pretty. I love the shimmer, shimmers in this palette. I love the blues. I love the packaging. It is so pretty. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep this palette just because I think it's so cute. And I love the colors in here even though I haven't like really played around with it as well. Um, now I have these two palettes right here. These are blush palettes I believe. Yeah, they're blush palettes. So this one is, they're both by Morphe. This is the Warm Master 8W Blush Palette. And it looks like this. This is a blush palette that I always use all the time. So I'm keeping this one. You guys, this palette is so good and it's so inexpensive. I highly, highly recommend. Um, this is another one. Now this one has like more um, mauve tones, more um, cool tones and this is the cool pro 8c palette so this is another palette that i'm going to keep because i always use these blushes except for this one this one's called ego i don't really reach for that one but every other shade in here i've used so i'm keeping this one right here oh my god guys we are down to the last palette i am so glad so this is the cap d shade and light eye palette um it looks like this this is also a very good um, neutral palette. I really like it. I love the shades in here. I do reach for it a lot. Recently I've been playing around with this palette so much so I'm definitely keeping this one as well. Um, and then this is the Park Avenue Princess palette. This is like a, a contour palette I guess by Tarte Cosmetics and it looks like this. This palette is really good. I like it. I'm obsessed with it. I use it all the time as well. This right here, Angle, is my favorite and Princess Cut. They are so, so good. And I also use these to bake or just when I really want that like cut um, and like that defined contour line, I definitely use these to make that. So I'm keeping this one. Now this one right here, this is the Orgy Palette by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is still in its packaging. 
it's completely new i haven't used it i haven't swatched it i haven't even played with it um i've been thinking about doing a video with this um palette so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see so this is such a good like neutral palette i am obsessed with this palette it looks so so good I cannot wait to try it out and play around with this palette. So if you guys want to see a video of me using the Orgy palette or any of the palettes that I've mentioned, leave a comment down below and letting me know if you guys want me to do like a review, especially on like the, con the Conspiracy palette or this one. Now, down to the last palette, finally. This right here, um, this is the Bloodlust Blood Lust palette. So this right here is such a pretty palette. Like, I love it. But again, I have an issue with Jeffree Star Cosmetics' palettes being so bulky because they take so much space in my makeup collection that it is just insane. But this packaging is so pretty. Now, I forgot. Okay, so you, like, open it. Now, I kind of tossed the box um, from this palette, so I don't have the box anymore. But it is completely new. I haven't used it. The mirror is enormous. This is another one kind of like the Alien palette. Um, the shades are so, so pretty. But the only problem with this palette is just that it's so bulky. Like, it is just super, super bulky. So, I don't know. Um, it's a new palette. I kind of want to play around with it, but then I kind of don't because I don't know if I kind of want to keep getting these bulky palettes in my makeup collection. Um, so, who knows if I end up keeping it then I'll keep it I'll play around with it maybe I'll make a video but maybe if I decide to give this away this could be like a giveaway here on my channel or you know who knows maybe I'll just buy one for you guys and if I decide to keep this one maybe I'll just buy one for you guys once I hit 1,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel then I'll do like a really big giveaway and I don't know if I end up deciding I don't want this palette and I've never touched it then um I will definitely include this in that giveaway but for now I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna think about it and see if I want to play around with it if I want to touch it but yeah and if like I said if I do end up using it and you know playing around with it um for that giveaway I'll still probably purchase a palette I don't know if I'll I'll do this again maybe I will I don't know but um I'll do a really give, big giveaway once I hit the 1K. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys are interested of me doing like a review on like the Conspiracy palette, the Orgy palette, or any of the palettes that you guys saw here. Let me know if you guys are interested on any of the palettes. If you guys want me to post them on Poshmark, I definitely will. If you guys don't mind them being used, of course. So anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys liked about this video. If you guys um, want me to do more makeup tutorials or what you guys want to see next on my channel. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. I did my nails. <laughs>